Series circuits. An important concept to learn on the way to developing your electrical project. You are not going to be using series circuits that often except for switches and fuses. And on occasion perhaps you're going to want to have a situation where you want a couple of resistors to share the total energy available to them. And so this will come in handy as well. We can see that as before we had a single bulb with wires leading to the battery. And this time we're going to bring a friend in. There we go. Yay, they got partners. A couple things immediately visible is that they've gotten dimmer. Another thing that may not be so obvious is that they need each other. If we unscrew one bulb, the other one goes out. It's true in both cases. It does not matter which one's closer to the negative or the positive terminal of the battery. So, what can cause this? Well, we're going to enlist our help of our multimeter to give us a little peek as to what's going on inside the circuits while they're in action. First of all, we have this currently set up as an ammeter, and so to measure the current or the flow of coulombs going through the circuit, we're going to need to break the circuit and insert our ammeter in. If you recall from our previous studies, our amperage was about 0 0.06 then, and it's now dropped down to 0 0.04. By adding resistors, in this case your light bulbs, in series, it's made it harder for the coulombs to travel through, so you get fewer of them traveling past any, this, any location, for example where the ammeter is and where the bulbs are, you get fewer coulombs traveling per second. That's what amperage is, the number of coulombs traveling through the wire per second. That's our first lesson. So, what else is going on in here? Well, we'll reattach it, and we're going to turn our meter back into a voltmeter. And so we switch the dial to the other side, and we switch our leads as well. Here we go. So in testing our one bulb, we discover that it is about 2.9, just under three. And we'll find that for the other side as well. Okay, again, in the high 2.9 range, so just under three each. So our coulombs as they come through, each get six joules of energy, that's what six volts means, that every coulomb that comes through gets six joules of energy. It then proceeds to go to our bulbs, and each of them get just under three. In a perfect world, they would each get three completely, but because it takes some energy to get through our wires, we have a slight decrease. And so our bulbs are gonna be dimmer because they're sharing the voltage, only getting three each, and the amperage is dropping. So there's fewer coulombs coming per second to deliver energy. They're dependent on each other for being on, and that's the foundation for series circuits.